Okay. Um, and next we're going to welcome is Reverend Tina Wagu. Um, she is the wife of Bishop Stafford, um, a powerful man of God. So we know that um, in order to be a wife to a powerful man of God, you yourself must be a powerful woman. So we let's welcome Reverend, Reverend Tina Wagu. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh. Yes. Hi. Good evening, ma. Good evening. Good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be a part of what God is doing. Amen. I bless the Lord for His Amen. goodness and His mercy towards us. Amen. Amen. And I know that God is going to use this particular program to bless a lot of people Amen. that are listening and those that will hear about it later. So I bring you greetings from Nigeria. Amen. Amen. I thank the Lord because he has been showing us men over here. And I'm sure that God is doing great and mighty things in your midst over there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, I'm um, to talk briefly on submission. Why submit to your own husband? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Submission is one word that many people don't want to hear. And when they hear it, the next thing is the negativity that comes with it. <laughs> but submission is one of the disciplines of a godly woman. Mm -hmm. Submission is an ornament. We can see that in the uh, First Peter chapter 3, verse 4. It is an ornament. It is a heart ornament. Submission is not a set of rules. It's not a set of do's and don'ts. It is a way of life. It is an attitude of the mind that is controlled by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. All times we call ourselves virtuous women. For the fact, we have to look into it. You cannot be virtuous without being spiritual. It takes only a gentle and quiet spirit to be obedient. And that's what we are talking about, submission. In Proverbs 31, we, 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 we have a template there. The template we relate to, or we relate with in times of a uh, good Christian woman, a home builder, a homemaker, we use that template each time we want to describe a Christian woman. But in the description of that virtuous woman in that particular chapter of the Bible, she was called a, a wife of noble uh, character. Who can find her? A wife of noble character. She is worth more than Ruby. So that's why I said it's an ornament. No physical ornament can exude this virtue in us. Our physical adornment cannot. Draw God towards us for this virtue called submission. Hmm. Draws God to us, towards us. The scripture says this ornament is precious, very precious in the sight of God. Now, Jesus was a perfect example, and is still a perfect example of what a typical wife should be. Jesus 
is a typical wife to, to God when he was right here on earth. He was a wife to God. And he came to show us how to be a wife right here on earth as his children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's look at the Lord Jesus. He said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. Not only to do it, but to accomplish it. And what did he do in order to fulfill this? In order to fulfill this, the scripture made us to know that he humbled himself by divesting himself of his divinity. He humbled himself. He brought himself down to the point of being a slave in order to obey God. Brethren, this is submission. Yes. He submitted totally to the will of the Father to the point of laying down his life. We as wives should follow the typical example that Jesus has shown to us concerning submission. Submission, like I said before, is not a set of rules. It's an attitude that is governed by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Wife of noble character, what, what made her distinct was that Everything said about her depicts humility. Mm -hmm. She was humble. She was submissive. She was not contentious. We know what the Bible told us about being contentious. When you're a contentious woman, the Bible said it's better for the man to live on the rooftop than living with that woman. The Bible tells us that a contentious woman is like a dripping on a rainy day mm -hmm. is somebody who can never predict. Mm -hmm. She is prone to anything. She can do anything. Mm -hmm. That's not what God wants us to be mm -hmm. as wives to our husband, particularly a Christian woman. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you look at the, uh, um, the, the life application Bible, I like the way the life application Bible it says, that is what life application of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. It says, wives, fit into your husband's plan. Mm. Wives, fit into. Mm. Fit into. God has called us and given us a positional responsibility. And that positional responsibility he gave to us is to be a help me onto our own husband. Mm -hmm. A help, a helper suitable, mm -hmm. a helper who can help him fulfill his God-given vision. That's what God has called us to. And you cannot fulfill this without being submissive. Mm -hmm. We need to do exactly what Jesus did. He knew he was equal with God. That's where we have this problem. After all, uh, yes, he is the husband. After all, I have this. After all, I got that. That's not what God is saying. I want to take us back to Genesis, where, my, where, 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 where we had this problem. When the woman giving to Adam, instead of aligning herself, Doing the work that God has sent her to do, she usurped authority. And man had problem with marriage. And we call it the falling nature. Most times we leave our marriage with the falling nature. Hmm. But in the redemptive nature, God has given us what it takes to make our marriages work. Amen. And that's what we found the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, it says, wives, submit your own 
self to your, to your own husband. Love your husband. The love a woman owes for the husband is to submit to the authority, to the leadership of that man. Mm-hmm. That's the love that every Christian wife has for the husband. Yes. And he says, do it as you do to Christ. Mm. As you submit to Christ. You cannot submit, say you submit to Christ, to the authority, to the leadership of Christ. You cannot say you obey Christ when you don't obey your husband. He said, as you submit to Christ, so you should submit to your husband. Now, Jesus did exactly that. Jesus, like I said before, humbled himself, submitted himself. He said, whatsoever I see my father do, that is what I do. I do not speak what he did not speak. I do not do what he did not do. Whatsoever I see my father, that is total surrendering to the will of God. Surrendering so that the work of God on earth and the salvation that God has, 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 has set for us on this earth is realized. Amen. So God has put us in our individual families to make the purpose of God to be realized on earth through marriage and family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what they say, what is this submission? Submit, submit. When I submit, am I not demeaning myself? No. Remember Jesus. He is a perfect example. You are not bringing, when he submitted himself, when he divested himself, he did not bring Jesus down. He did not demean him. He did not devalue him. What happened was that rather than demeaning Jesus, Jesus was exalted. Mm. That today, the name of Jesus, wherever it is mentioned, every kneel on earth must bow, both in heaven mm. and earth must bow, and beneath the earth must bow. So Jesus was a man of authority and power, yet he kept it under check. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus kept that under check. And look at what he told us. He says, learn of me. I am meek and I am a holy. He wants us to observe him. He wants us to do exactly what he did because he was a wife of God when he was right here on earth. Mm. What is submission? Why are we afraid of submission? Submission simply means obedience. That's what it means. And for us to have relationship with God, our relationship with God is a marriage relationship. And for yes. us to have this marriage relationship, we must be obedient to his word. Mm-hmm. We must be committed to his word. We must be ever ready and ever willing to obey his word. That is what submission is all about. Hmm. Ever ready to obey. Submission is total yieldedness. Yes, yielding ourselves to the leadership of our husband. Hmm. God has made him the head of the family. Therefore, we must accord him full respect. We must allow him to lead as God has instituted him to lead in the home because he is the priest he is a king and he is the prophet Mm. we must allow him to and help him to achieve these things that god has made him to be in our home Mm. praise the lord hallelujah Hallelujah. when we go contrary we begin to have problems we begin to have things that can, can, that can separate us, things that can lead to divorce. You know, when we submit to our own husband, we are actually submitting to God. Mm-hmm. Because he said, I want to God. 
If you are not submitting to your husband, you are not submitting to God either. Mm -hmm. So our submission is first unto the Lord. And when we really submit to God, we, we will not find it difficult to submit to our own uh, husband. Mm -hmm. I want to let us know that submission provokes love. Mm -hmm. Submission provokes love. When you don't submit, you can't wow. provoke love. Jesus submitted to the Father, and he provoked the love of the Father. And he said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well eh? pleased. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. So submission provokes love. Most times we say, our husbands don't love us. Our husbands don't love us. Our husbands don't show love. The question we should ask ourselves is what is our character towards our husband? The, 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 the virtuous woman was a woman of noble character, a noble character. When you look at, at, at the beginning of, the, of, the, of, of that chapter, uh, is it from verse 10 or what? It says, the husband's heart does safely trust her because she will never do him good all the days of his life. All the days of the man's life, this submissive woman, this virtuous woman, this woman of noble character, because you can never be submissive with, with, without having a, a good character. Noble character. She will never do him harm. If you are submissive to your husband, you will not take evil against him. You will not do anything that will harm him. The Bible made us to understand that this woman, husband, safely trusts in her. You want your husband to trust you. Live a life of submission. Live a life of yielding. Allowing your husband to be who God wants him to be. There are many women or, or Christian women who do things that are, when you hear it, you marvel how a, a, a Christian woman can do such things. They, they, they insult their husbands, they, they disrespect their husbands, they, 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 they usurp authority, they, 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 they train the children in a, in a way that they are disrespectful to the husband. Particularly when that woman feels that she is any more money than the man. She is more educated than the man. God did not look at those things. What God is looking at is that you have that willingness to bring yourself under the leadership of your husband. Hmm. Under his leadership. That he will now run that family together with you to bring out the purpose of God for your life. Mm -hmm. So submission is a virtue we should cultivate. It's a virtue that is so important, we need to cultivate it. We don't need to be cajoled or, you know, kind of, you know, I, I don't know, rob our ego for, for us to do that. This is what God demands from us in this redemptive nature. Why submit? And then you provoke the love. He said, oh, oh, husband, love your wife as you love yourself, as Jesus loved the church. I said before, submission provokes eh, love. No submission, you won't have the true love that you should receive from your husband. Now, Jesus is another example. Because Jesus obeys the Father, does the will of the Father. God always honor him. God always honor his word while he was here on earth. Look at in terms of prayer. He said, Lord, Father, I know you hear it me always. Now, when we are not submissive, our husbands will not trust us. They will not. 
they will not reveal themselves as they ought to reveal themselves to us. Jesus said, if you love me and you obey me and you keep my commandments, I will love you and my father will love you. And two of us so we will come and have our abode in you. That is what it is, brethren. When we submit, our husband will not hide anything from us. Remember the scripture says in Genesis, they we are naked. He will not hide. But when we are not, you see him keep secret. You see him do things without telling us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Amen